Hello friends. Today we've built a remote automation circuit that works using an Arduino Nano and a relay module. With just a remote signal, the relay turns on or off, controlling the device wirelessly. It's simple, smart, and fully automatic. A perfect solution for home automation. So let's dive in and see how we made it. To begin, we're using a relay module. This is the main component that will handle switching your device on and off remotely. Along with that, we've taken an Arduino Nano to act as the brain of our system, and a few flexible jumper wires for the connections. Starting connections, relay to Arduino. Let's start by wiring the relay module. It's very straightforward. Just make sure you connect the signal pin to the correct digital pin on the Nano. Everything here is simple, but make sure your wiring is neat and error-free. Neat finish. And yes, soldering is really important here. Next, we move on to the Arduino Nano connections. Arduino Nano wiring, close up. A strong and clean solder joint ensures the circuit works reliably and looks professional too. Every wire has been properly tinned and soldered securely to avoid any loose connections or short circuits during operation. Once the soldering was done, I moved on to connecting the IR infrared sensor. For this part of the project, I used an IR sensor and added a 10 kilo ohms resistor as a pull up between the signal pin and VCC. This helps to stabilize the sensor's signal and ensure reliable readings. All the wires of the IR sensor have been neatly connected, and I've used a female jumper socket to make the sensor easily removable or replaceable later. Alright friends, now let's move on to connecting the female socket. As you can see, the connections have been successfully completed. I've made four stable and clean connections for the relay setup. Next, I proceeded to make the relay module connections. I used four thick wires to handle higher current, ensuring safe and efficient operation. Each wire was cut to the required length, stripped and fixed firmly into the relay terminals. If you're following along, make sure to tighten the screws properly or solder them securely to avoid any sparks or disconnections. I have properly arranged and secured all the wires in place. I made use of a custom plastic body which I created using a plastic pipe. You can also make a similar enclosure at home using PVC or any other plastic casing, including the relay, sensor, and sockets, when neatly mounted inside the body using hot glue or feather quick, ensuring that they remain firmly in place even if the system moves or vibrates. After fixing all components, I sealed the plastic body using feather quick to hold it securely. Let's now secure all the components properly using feather quick. It's important to ensure that each part stays firmly in place and and doesn't shift during operation. So friends, now I've connected the project to my laptop to complete the programming process. Programming is an essential step in bringing any electronic project to life. Without properly uploading the correct code, even a perfectly assembled circuit will not function as expected. Friends, you can find this code in the description below. I've carefully copied all the necessary code from the serial monitor and pasted it into the programming environment. After successfully uploading the code to the board, it's time to begin the testing phase. During the test, as you can clearly see, everything is working perfectly. The circuit is responding accurately to all commands without any delay or glitches, which is a very good sign, and shows the system is functioning just the way we expected. So friends, now let's move on to the final step, assembling the body of our project. So friends, every part should be placed with precision, and it's very important that no wire gets displaced or comes out of its proper position. I've already placed the screws on both sides, and with the help of a screwdriver, we'll now tighten them properly to ensure everything is securely fixed and aligned. It's very important that the enclosure is solid and well fitted, because even a small gap or loose component can affect the overall performance of the project. Once the body is completely ready and fixed, we'll proceed to the final round of testing. I'm pressing each button one by one, and our home automation circuit is responding smoothly, just the way we programmed it. No errors, no lags, the entire system is functioning 100% as expected. So that's all for today's video. I hope you found the process informative and useful. We'll meet again in the next video with another interesting project.